Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we're going to see how to count X in Excel. Excel is a great tool for analyzing and reporting data. It has a number of aggregation functions that can be used with text, numbers, and with dates. When you want to count the occurrence of a particular uh, value, in this case, we're going to look at uh, X, you can use uh, any one of Excel's count functions. Here we are going to see how to use two of them. One is count A and the second is count if. So let's see how to use count A. So count A counts the number of values in a cell. So in this example, I have a list of dates and X marks how many days this person was present. So if I want to count this, I can use count A. I'm going to say uh, equals count A, open brackets, and I select the column, close brackets, and press enter. I can see that the number of days is 20. So if I see how many values there are in uh, totally, this goes from the 1st to the 27th, so there must be about, uh, uh, there are 26 values, but the number of days with X's is only 20. So what count A does is it counts uh, all the cells that have values in them. In this case, there were two cells that are blank, so it did not count them. Now, what happens if I have a value in those cells? Suppose X marks the present the days they were present and A marks the days this person was absent. As you can see, while I'm typing it, I'm adding A's. You can see that this has not worked. Now, it is counting the total number of days, which, which is 27, because all the cells have values. So, in this case, I can use the second option, which is count if. So, this uh, I will say count if, open brackets, now specify the range, again the same uh, range of cells, and the next argument is the criteria. So the criteria here is, it's I wanted to look for the value x. Now remember the x has to go in uh, double quotes because it's a text value. So I'm saying uh, to count uh, the cell if it contains an x, and close the brackets and say enter, and now I get the correct value. So these are two ways to count X in Excel. You can use whichever one uh, suits your business purposes.